All that I said about fruits and vegetables remain the same. Since I'm only here for one day, I am giving you fruits and vegetables, but you really shouldn't mix them, okay? Um, all right. Okay, uh, for this one, I call it my living oatmeal. And I'm using steel cut oats. And it's just oat oats that have been cut three, uh, lengthwise uh, three times. I soak it overnight. Now, grains should always be cooked thoroughly. That's the counsel that we're given. Always be cooked thoroughly. If they are not cooked and you're going to eat them in this form, you soak them overnight with lemon juice. There's a reason for that. Um, oats contain <coughs> bacteria in them, but if you eat them raw all the time, it can affect your digestion. So you want to always make sure that you uh, soak them overnight in filtered water with lemon juice. And uh, we did entitle this Foods on the Go, but one thing you'll realize is that while some things uh, can happen pretty fast, in whole foods plant-based, it's really, you're not going to be popping a can all the time. You really have to you know, go to the natural and use the natural item. In this case, it meant soaking it overnight, which was really not tough. I, well, Tara did this one. <laughs> she, she measured out three cups, she put filtered water, and then she brought it to me this morning and I, I put in two lemons since we hadn't did the lemon overnight. Um, lemons are so powerful. Lemons are antibacterial, antiviral, and antifungal. And my, I'm gonna ask my husband to do another testimony of uh, one time a evangelist that we worked with and uh, about lemon juice, okay? But he'll do that after you, brother, okay? Okay. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna use the, uh, the soaked oat groats, uh, steel cut, steel cut oats. You can use oat groats too. Um, oat groats is the whole, um, the actual whole, seed of, of this uh, grain and what you'll find is you might have to even soak it three days and, and sprout it to be able to use it like this okay mm -hmm. so I like this it's a quicker way to do it um, granola and cold cereals that was my thing but when I started eating this I was willing to give up the processed cereals because I really love this this is my favorite dish I did not get a spoon so excuse me one second all right so after i've soaked this is three cups she has a recipe and she will give it make sure you give terry your email address okay um i'm going to use uh, approximately a third of this
my desired smoothness, I'll show you. You can see through there. So it has flex in it still. All right. You guys can see back there? Yeah. It still has flex in it. And it's about the thickness of a thick smoothie right now. All right. So I'm now going to add this back to the, the two thirds that I did not um, do it uh, processing to. And I would have normally have sipped this a little um, to get any excess moisture out of it, but unfortunately, I did not remember to bring my sip.
Do you only use still oats when you do oat milk? No, um, at home we use just regular, uh, this is organic, oh, rolled oats. They're our favorite. I find my quick oats kind of just dissolve too quickly for me. All right, I'm going to take some blueberries in here. And uh, who came from the farthest? I'd like to give this to whoever came from the farthest destination today. How do we know? Well, you can tell me how far you came from. <coughs> You take more than an hour to get here, anybody. More than an hour. Charlotte. There you go. You win. There we go. <laughs> All right. So to the nice young lady here. There you go. Thank you. Breakfast on the go. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, we were driving, so it's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> we'll fix you a small one, brother. <laughs> All right. I'd like you to give your testimony while some of my helpers get help me get some ready for people to sample. Okay. Uh, I've had